Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Furmark on a Windows 10 PC. I'm going to walk you through the steps of downloading it from the source, installing it on the computer, and then running a bench test. So let's get started. So we're going to begin our installation at the desktop and we're going to open up our browser, head over to google.com, and then in the search bar, we're going to type in Furmark. Geeks3D.com is the official URL. So this is the first link that we have. I uh, click on that to go to the website. I'm also going to have this link in the description below for downloading. And when we get to the page, we can click on the green download link. So at the time of recording, which is June 25th, 2021, one point, version 1.26 is the latest version that's out. So that's the version that we're going to download and install. So at the download page here, we can scroll down a bit and then we get the Geeks 3D link server that we can download from. So we can click on that and let it download. Uh, it's just over 10 megs. looks like it's 11.9, uh, not too big of a file. So we can go ahead and let that finish. And then once complete, we can open it up and start the installation. So we'll select on open. And I'm just gonna minimize my browser. At the prompt, you just wanna say yes. And then over here, we have the license agreement. So we can accept the license agreement. We need to do that in order to continue. So we'll select that, click on next. And then we're gonna leave the default folder as is. Now, if you don't have a reason to change it, you can leave it as that, otherwise you can change it. And then we're gonna leave this as well. These are the folder options. And then if you want additional shortcuts, I like a desktop shortcut, so I'll just check that, but you don't have to select either of those. And then we can click on install to complete. And then next, it's just gonna to wanna to give you some information about the application itself. So you can just scroll down if you wanna take a quick read through this. Uh, you also get the option to get the readme file at the end. So we can click on next. And here we go, this is where all the release notes are and it'll launch the application. So when you click on finish here, it'll just load up. First, you get the website. Let me just uh, close out the website here. Okay, so now we have the firmware stress test application opened up and we have a few options here at detect in my GPU there. You can see I have the 1660 Ti listed with all its cores. Uh, we have the option to turn on and off full screen when testing as well as selecting the resolution that you'd like to select. And then below here, uh, we have some tools that we can use. So we can use the GPU Z tool. Now the GPU Z tool is just a lightweight utility that allows you to see all the specs and the information about your GPU. It goes into a lot of detail displaying that you may or may not require about your uh, GPU and it has it all listed there. And then we have GPU Shark. Now GPU Shark is another lightweight tool and it actually gives you live statistics about everything that's running related to your GPU. And over here on the right hand side, this is the benchmark side. So you have the stress test button up here at the top, but you also have preset options for 4K, QHD, and then we have the 1080p and 780p presets as well. So when you're ready to run the test, you just select whatever preset option you want, and they can go ahead and do that. So let's, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be testing out the 1080p because that's what I have my resolution set at, and then we'll run a test. And it just gives you a little bit of a warning. And you wanna make sure that you don't run this test too long because of burning on your screen and everything else. So as the stress test loads up, you're gonna get a nice, beautiful, furry donut that's gonna come up, as well as a kind of like a psychedelic pattern that's running in the background. And this is running on many levels, your GPU, to find out what FPS you're gonna be running at. And it's gonna give you all the details that you require at the, at the end of this test, and it'll list it all out. And you can also see how your card measures up against other cards. So if you're shopping around, this is a great tool to find out how these video cards are actually running against each other. At the top, you get a little meter that's going across. We're about halfway through this test lasts about 60 seconds and then when it's complete I'll let you know so I'm running again the preset test for the 1080p and what I'll do is I'll just jump to the end so you don't have to watch the whole thing happen this is the screen after we've run the test and you can see down here it gives us the results you can actually put in a name or you can go in it uh, you can actually review results and honest me as well you can also password protect it but when you click on submit it's gonna pop open a web page, and here it is. And it's gonna give you a score, and it's gonna tell you how many FPS. I have 80, 81. It's gonna give you information about your graphics card and everything else. So I'm running at about 4,876. Not the greatest, but not the worst uh, for a GTX 1660 Ti. And if we scroll a little bit lower here, we get the device information, which is the driver, and the max power usage, the max temperature, and power consumption. 
And if we scroll up right up here, we can click on the score indexes. And then this is where you can actually see how your card ranks against other cards and uh, what they what the test results were for those cards as well so if you're actually shopping around and you're looking at upgrading your video card you can see what performs better or what performs less just gives you a good idea I think overall this is a really good test keep please keep in mind that this is just for fps this isn't testing everything uh, so it's just to give you a general idea of how your video card is performing overall so I've just walked you through the download of the software, the installation, and also running a benchmark test. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.